I would like to thank Team Food Facts by Shivendra for giving me this opportunity to express my views on topic factors affecting microbial growth in foods. I am Vishal Nirwal. Basically, I am a food technologist working in a reputed MNC as a uh, quality compliance officer. I think this opportunity is just to basic understanding for the food technologist and other people also, so that they can be aware of uh, what are the factors they are mainly contributing to the spoilage of food. But before going to that, uh, what is food? Food is collection of essential nutrients of animals or plants only. That we all we all are aware of that. The, in most of the cases, microorganisms utilize food as a source of nutrients for their growth. And as they are utilizing these nutrients, so they are directly impacting the spoilage of food. So how microorganisms spoil the food? There are three four basic uh, concepts uh, that will go through it. Uh, by microorganisms increase their number by utilizing the nutrient component of food and it will cause the spoilage of food. So the first is increasing the number, increasing the microorganism itself they are multiplying themselves and they are spoiling the food. Second one is utilizing the as, as we have already discussed utilizing the nutrient content of that food they are, in, they are increasing their number and they are spoiling the food. Producing enzymatic change in food and then producing various metabolites that give bad odor or taste. These are the three four basics, the microorganism concepts which spoils the food. However, growth of microbes in food is not always harmful as we can as we have as we know there are various examples uh, where microorganisms are helpful for our gut microflora as we can see curd where we are or curd or many of the fermented products. Uh, now we will discuss about the factors affecting microbial growth of food, which is our basic topic we, uh, we have Discuss, uh, discussing about. So there are two basic factors which will affect the microbial growth like intrinsic factor and extrinsic factor. So intrinsic factor we can say that what are the natural uh, characteristics of that food they are affecting that is called as intrinsic factor and extrinsic factors we can say that the uh, storage condition, temperature, relative humidity like external factors what which are affecting the food that is called as in extrinsic factors. So we will go deep down into intrinsic factors and extrinsic factors. So intrinsic factor we can say that uh, pH, moisture, moisture or water activity, oxidation reduction potential of that food, antimicrobial, antimicrobial, antimicrobial constituents, nutrient content and biological structure of that food. These are mainly considered as an intrinsic factor whereas in extrinsic factor we have discussed like temperature, relative humidity, uh, oxygen content and composition of gases in the environment.